So we beat Newcastle 4 0. Two goals from Mata, one from Hernandez, one from Yanazai. Uh, I agreed with the guys in the previous show that David Moyes should arrest a lot of the players for the Munich game, and it's good to see that he'd done that. But it was teams still full of internationally capped players, so you know, obviously, you know, they were expected to beat Newcastle. But I thought the team played well, good result, clean sheet again away from home, and good momentum and a positive result taken to the Munich game, which is crucial for morale and momentum as well. Only negative is that, you know, sometimes we were playing like we used to do before, especially that like we did at Fulham, get crossing the ball and lumping the ball forward. We need to learn to cut that out now. Pass it into feet. That's the Man United way. We don't want to play like Stoke. Um, but generally, I thought the team played well. The three amigos, Mata, Kagawa, Hernandez, linked up well. Um, Kagawa and Fletcher played the 90 minutes. Does that mean they're not going to play against Munich, hopefully not, and cleverly didn't feature at all, does that mean he's going to be playing in Munich, hopefully not, um, but you know, good result, um, the team played well, uh, one matter, again, you know, even though a lot of the time he's been, this season he's been playing out of position, he has done his best to produce, and that's why we all, we, we some of us have a problem with Fellaini, that matter has come in for a big money transfer, and he started to produce instantly. A lot of the other players in the Premier League are as well. So why can't Fellaini do it? David Moyes has said this week that that he's justifying Fellaini justifies the price tag. Well, unless you take off the zeros and make it into twenty-seven pound fifty, that's the only price tag he's justifying. So Fellaini needs to step it up. Um, and also, you know, um, the other thing I want to say is, you know, sixth or seventh, regardless of where you finish, is going to get you a Europa League squad spot if Arsenal win the FA Cup. Southampton are too far away in 8th. We've got nothing to play for now in the rest of the Premier League season. Um, it's a negative, but maybe we can use it as a positive. How about, you know, David Moore speaks to the board um, and speaks, you know, gives an interview to the fans or in his programme notes and says, look, I want to try for the future. I want to look to next season. Evra, Vidic, Jones, players like that are not, you know, gigs are not going to be part of next season. We already know what they can do. Let's look at the young players, see what they can do, give them a chance as well. So how about the rest of the games of the season left so far? We use it for the benefit of Manchester United long term in terms of we use some of the players from the under 18 of the 21s, see what they can do, see if they're good enough for Man United, see if we can unearth some talent, give them some experience to see if they can do it on Premier League level. Maybe we can find the next Yanazai, the next Paul Pogba. We don't want another Paul Pogba situation where we've got a young player, we don't play him and then he leaves and he turns out to be pretty good. Um, and even if we were to lose the games, people wouldn't be on Moises' back, even I wouldn't, because it's something, learning curve, benefit of Man United. I mean, you know, think about it, it's, it's something that we can use for the rest of the season as a positive. So let's play some of the younger players, a few of them, see what they can do.